I'm going to call the meeting of October 13th, 2016 to order. Jesse, can you take the roll call, please? Mayor Siciliano? Here. Deputy Mayor Garofola? Here. Council Member Echera? Here. Long? Here. Shepica? Here. Everybody, please rise for a pledge of allegiance and then remain standing for a moment of silent prayer thereafter. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The notice requirement for the Open Public Meeting Act has been satisfied. A copy of the annual notice was sent to the Asbury Park Press and a coaster filed in Town Hall and in the office of the Municipal Clerk on December 29th, 2015. There are two emergency exits. One on my right will take you out to the front parking lot. One to my left will take you out to the rear parking lot. If you have a cell phone, now's the time to turn it off. Uh, if you need to make a call, kindly go out into the hallway. You can do that there. Uh, all meetings are taped and televised, of course. If you don't want your image projected or viewed at a later time, please sit behind the camera, which is mounted up on the cabinet there. Uh, before we get started on <coughs> our council business, I'm going to go down the line and see if the members have anything. Deputy Mayor, you have any report for us tonight? I do, Mayor. You know, I had a great week. It started off a week ago Sunday where we honored our own Ocean Township's own Rosa Chair. She had a dinner for her for becoming PTA president. Uh, for the state of New Jersey, which was quite an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday, I attended the Red Heart Dinner for the Center in Asbury Park, where Ocean Township's own Dorothy Henry was um, commemorated for having uh, been the Volunteer of the Year. And the Coaster, our friends at the Coaster, were the corporate uh, uh, Volunteers of the Year. On Friday, I was uh, lucky enough to attend the... Um, Sisters Academy breakfast uh, in Asbury Park, where they're, the little sisters are doing just great work with those girls and uh, breaking the cycle of poverty and giving kids a good education that normally wouldn't get it. And finally on Sunday, I got to fill in for you and serve a proclamation to uh, Peggy Dellinger, Ocean Township's own, who uh, got the Jane Clayton Award for her volunteerism in the uh, history, um, the museum for all the work she's done and I tell you it was nice because you know when you turn on the TV today and you see such lack of civility and, and disrespect and acrimony and, and just out and out nastiness it's it's good to have a week like that to remind you that there's still a lot of good people a lot of good people in Ocean Township doing good deeds and, and they're very appreciated. That's great good to hear and thank you for filling in Sunday. Donnie, have anything? Yes, we have clean um, sweep on Sunday at ten o'clock at eleven o'clock, over in the Oakhurst Park. We're meeting from ten to one. Um, that's October sixteenth, and Veterans Day ceremony out in front of Town Hall. Here will be on November eleventh, which is Veterans uh -huh. Day, and the ceremony will start at eleven a.m. Great, thank you, Rich. Yes, uh, Mayor, I have one report to make. Uh, along with Human Services uh, Co-Director Sharon Molesky and Police Chief Steve Peters, I attended a workshop on September the 26th. The title of this workshop was Narcan, Now What? Of course, as most of us know, Narcan is employed to revive heroin users who have overdosed. I was not surprised to learn at the workshop that the average heroin user is a 27-year-old white male. But I was surprised that people who call a heroin hotline range in age from 13 years old to 89 years old. I learned that the five counties with the highest number of heroin overdose deaths are Ocean County, Monmouth County, Essex County, Passaic County, and Camden County. I learned that 80% of the people seen by the opioid overdose recovery program are uninsured. As a representative from the Hudson County Jail so eloquently stated, health insurance and housing are keys to a coordinated recovery for addicts. If you have nowhere to live and you have no insurance, getting into recovery is really Hard. Uh, 
I at that workshop uh, during a break I met a young woman named Angela you would never ever imagine that this young woman is a recovering heroin addict her job she said is to these are her words gracefully stalk the person who has overdosed this use of former addicts who quote shadow unquote current addicts has been vastly successful getting people into treatment is not the goal it is getting them into recovery and I want the people here tonight and the people that may be watching this at home that uh, I am tremendously proud of Chief Peters and Sharon Molesky for doing all that they can to help defeat this horrible and heartbreaking addiction to opioid drugs. They are to be commended. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that, Rich. Rob? I have nothing. Andrew? I just want to mention the fall newsletter will be hitting <clears throat> mailboxes early next week. And then also, most people are aware that we are in the final stages of a, a, a property tax reval for the community. So in early November, you'll be getting a letter or a postcard with your uh, preliminary assessment number. And then in the middle part of November, you'll have the opportunity to come in and discuss that with the company that did the reval, as well as some township staff if you have any questions about the number. So you can look for those two things in the coming weeks. Great. Thanks, Andrew. Morty? I have nothing. Nothing? Okay. For myself, I just want to say, to follow up on what Andrew just mentioned, um, also with the tax cards and whatnot, next year, I think around November, we're going to run some maybe a workshop here for folks ahead of time, just to explain the process to you, how the tax cards come out, what it means to you, and what you can do if you feel you want to file a tax appeal, and go through the steps, and we'll have like a little panel here for you to ask questions. Maybe there'll be an attorney, a tax assessor, uh, and someone like that. So I just think a little more education for you, a little something else to reach out to you would be helpful. And secondly, just to let you know, our senior, our super senior luncheon is on its way. We've gotten quite a few uh, responses back. So we're, we're going to have that November 1st, 1130, over at the Renaissance. And that's a free lunch for our super seniors, anybody 90 and above. And for the Centurions, we have a little something special for them. So I'll keep you posted as that comes along. The 89-year-olds cannot try to. <laughs> they can crash in. Anybody, if your birthday's by December 31st, you're eligible of this year. <laughs> Almost, Doc. Next year, perhaps. Uh, just so you folks understand the procedure, we're going to go through our agenda. At the end of the agenda, when we're all through, you have a chance to ask any questions you want. Along the way, you're welcome to ask questions that are germane to the agenda items. Okay. At this time, does anybody have any questions on the agenda that you've seen tonight? If you do, please come up to the microphone. State your name and address for the record. Uh, come on up. <laughs> Don Geiger, 1108, Grassmere. I'll start off with the um, voucher list. Mm -hmm. uh, number seven on the list, Duckwork Lounge Area. Is that the lounge for the employees upstairs? Yes, it is. Okay. Just want to check. And number 31, new toilet and sink. Is that just one in the women's cell? Yes. That's kind of... It is, but remember, you're talk it's to a different standard than... <laughs> regular toilets yes. in the home. Okay. So, and um, number 33, the mission test, uh, B. Croft and Sunset. That's a garage, isn't it? That's right. Yes. So okay. Sunset Avenue Garage. Moving right along. Uh, number 62, I take it we just bought another laser jet printer? Yes, we did for the finance office. Okay. Well, you know, I tell Mr. Gallery you can save a lot of money, hire the unemployed monks who are now no longer write out the scripture. Oh, well, uh, anyway. Uh, number 65. I take it that's truck um, or vehicle number 78? Truck 78, yes. Yeah. Uh, and Bergie is going to repair said truck, maybe? Yeah. Yes, they will repair it. Okay. And um, 87, what is, can you tell me what that's about? Just that expert, expert report 
public defender. Expert. Expert. I can tell you that, uh, and I don't know if they get reimbursed for this, but the uh, Dr. Safferstein is uh, a DWI, drunk driving expert, so I guess the public defender for someone who couldn't afford legal fees uh, needed an expert witness. Okay. Thank you. And um, number 91, the building modification. That's that building by, uh, no, it says on well, well, Whale Pond. Whale I Pond. Is that in Playa Park? or It is in Playa Park, yes. Okay. It's and then the next one, I'm just very confused because there's a lot of letters and it's <laughs> 3400 and some odd dollars. Uh, Eagle, number 92, Eagle Truck Equipment. S R B I S R insert processor slash scarab. The, the scarab that's the piece of equipment we use at the leaf compost site to turn the leaves. Okay, it's a very large, very piece large. Yes, or we could get by car anyone in the jail and mm -hmm. have them with big rip. No, um, and then East number ninety three. Um, East Coast Emergency Lighting, Repair Wiring to Radio Console. Was that for a vehicle or? A police vehicle. Okay. Want that working. And then um, 100, Police Department Code Dur Dur Service Extension. Is that the service contract? Yes, for, for Code uh, Red, that reverse 911 system that we have. Right. They call us if. Tornadoes coming, hurricane, hurricane whatever, exactly. earthquake, and just it really isn't all that much. But I'm just curious. One o, um, I mean one o one, retail eyewear for a golf course. It, it's for resale, so they'll buy okay. it and then they'll sell That's, it. Just seems strange. And then um, one o three, uh, executive leadership program, three thousand dollars. For, do you know how many people went? Or? That is for our uh, newly promoted captain. Okay, so it's just one person. Yes. But it's a it's a almost a full year's uh, program year class, right? Okay, and um, one oh nine, uh, the major revision fee to freehold soil conservation. Can you tell me more about that? That is, f we had to modify the plans for the parking lot expansion here in Town Hall. Okay. Free, freehold, freehold Soil is one of the oversight agencies for that project. Oh, among many. Among many. Okay. And um, nothing, mind education, uh, for 101, uh, we're reimbursing education fees because? It's 110 for the... For okay. one of our counselors in human services. Okay. Well, it says one fifty nine ninety nine. Oh, I thought you were referring to the number the those new numbers that Mr. Gallagher yeah. added. Just yeah, I know. Just to make it easier <laughs> for both of us. We're, we're speeding through this, aren't we? <laughs> it's a lot easier. It's easier. I know. Why? I know. Um, and one twenty reimbursement for expenses. I know seventy six dollars and five cents isn't that much, but do you know what they were? They okay. went. He and another, another officer went to a train, an overnight training class. So that was for their meals. Oh, okay, that's not bad. And Next hotel. time, call them pack a lunch and, <laughs> and, hotel. and mileage. <laughs> and mileage, okay. And one twenty six. I take it we bought a number of computers. We did. There's are five new computers that we purchased. Okay. And then I see. Actually, it's coupled there. I'll go one thirty three, one thirty four. Um, so there is a, I take it, obviously, the state inspection and then the semi-annual service contract from uh, Handy Left. The contract doesn't include any inspections or it just come if it breaks? It's a, the service contract is if it breaks. Right. Not covering Not inspections. inspections. Okay. And 137, phone set up for... That was for an additional phone down in human services. Actually, it was multiple phones at human okay. services. And, okay, 139, Institute for Forensic Psychology, I'm guessing the way it's abbreviated. Uh, 
Again, police department was FFD evaluation. They evaluated their forensic yeah. policies or? No, FFD is fitness for duty evaluations. Okay. It was a personnel issue. Okay. And 141. Um, how many vehicles did we equip? Two. Two. Okay. And then uh, 142, was that conference off-site, on-site? It was in Tom's River. Okay, so that was uh, registration and expenses. Yeah, that's a that's a three day conference. Okay, that they go to right. That so that would have included the registration. As registration well. and right. costs going back and forth and meals and okay, and let's see. Number. Let's see. I want to make sure I'm in the right place. One eighty seven. Because what confused me. I saw Thursday, April 8th, normally I don't question these, and then it's a slash March 2011. Can that be right? Mm -hmm. Or does that number mean something else? I think it should say through. Um, oh, okay. And, and that would be related to, that, that's really one of those pass-throughs. Okay. Where we're paying them, but the developer is paying us. Okay. I'm fine. I, but I saw the 2011. Wait a minute. This is 2016. Anyway. Um, I just want to make sure uh, with Council, Councilwoman Shepka that the clowns were not scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No. Okay. And that takes care of that. And Councilman Long talked about the Narcan. So it was the cost for three persons to attend that conference. Am I correct? I believe so. Yes. Okay. And... Um, then there's some more, actually two things of training, 228, 229, were they for multiple persons? They were, the uh, 228 was for the two new lieutenants and 229 was for the two new sergeants. Okay. And on 235, uh, the Ford Ranger, was that because of an accident? Yes, that and is the our insurance is going right. to cover most, if not all of it. I hope not all of it, but most of it. Okay, and two forty-seven, the crossing guard uniforms. Do you know how many we bought offhand? Three. Three. Whoa, that's not cheap. What happened to the old just the white belt and the badge <laughs> on it? No. No. Okay. No. Uh, and then there's from two fifty-one. Through 255, uh, how many zoning people are going to that for 888? That is one individual. Whoa. But again, that's a semester long course. <coughs> okay. And then the <coughs> next one is a mini MPA certificate. Is that a year long course or? It's a semester long course. Expensive semester. Mm -hmm. And then uh, into two municipal clerks. Are both Vinny and Jesse going or? We'll have to ask Jesse. It was just me. Oh, <laughs> just you? Just me. Okay. It was three days, two days. Uh, she doesn't remember her so long. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then uh, <laughs> there's a, uh, again, a zoning course registration. That's one semester or just a, like a short course? That's another semester. Can we take my finger off the button? <laughs> Some of them meet more frequently, though. So, <laughs> like that. Uh huh. <laughs> Is that something like the the, <clears throat> the uh, clerk in the White House accidentally stepping on the thing? I may have. <laughs> okay. And I see two sixty four. We're, we're buying new garbage and recycle carts. <laughs> yes. About how many? I'll have to check on that, Don. Okay. So that's for one cart. That's one. What's <laughs> the price? Yeah. So at that's least two. That's a really nice cart. <laughs> really nice cart. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's electronic. Really... It wheels out by itself. Okay. And um, 268, the repairs to the Ford F-250. Is that just mechanical? That is mechanical, yes. Okay. So obviously it couldn't be handled in-house. Too complicated. Okay. And I see we're getting ready for winter. 
319 and 320 uh, a plow rig and plow controls. Uh, there's a difference in pricing because it's more uh, complicated with the plow controls. These, number eight is just for the bigger vehicles. Okay. So that's why you'll see the difference in price. Okay. And uh, 333, New Jersey Certified Tree Experts. Is that anything to do with the expansion of the parking lot or something else entirely? 333. Three, three. Yeah, I see it. Um, I believe that has to do with the Shade Tree Commission. We'll have to check on that one. Okay. And uh, 343, we rented a storage container from the school. That was for our summer rec program. Okay. And what is Benelli's? The one that really I enjoyed the most. 377. Tink Claw Curb Shoes. <laughs> Tincture. <laughs> That's that piece of equipment that picks up the brush. Tink, okay. It's called a Tink Claw. All right. I just did. What the heck? Developed by Sam Tink. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm sure. And now. On to resolutions. Let me get to my notes here. Um, excuse me. Oh, first of all, I want to thank. That's uh, the fact that they took, you know, they're taking to task the people who don't maintain their properties. And you're filing various liens on um, property not being taken care of. I want to pludge on that and the, the township uh, employees who go out and choke code enforcement. enforcement. Code enforcement. Yeah, job. that's what I was getting at. On um, 16.195, I see you were rejecting the bids, sending them back. What was the projected cost? I'm, I was well, to remember <coughs> three, somewhere something. in the three mid three range, mid right. to low three range, and they came substantially higher. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. So we tweaked it a little bit. We're going to put them back out there. We're going to do away with the uh, bathrooms, you know, the plumbing, because I think running the line itself was a major expense coming down well pond up through the park entrance back over. So right. for something that's going to be used, you know, several months out of the year, and we have adequate uh, facilities there, we can do without that. Okay. And uh, 16197 I see where we violated something, and we have to pay the state about 4000 bucks. I think, if I remember correctly. What right. was the violation? It was down at the Sunset Avenue garage. It right. was the fuel pumps. There's a line that obviously runs between the fuel tanks and the fuel pumps, and there was an issue with the testing that was done on that line. Okay. So they came in, and we, we did appeal it originally, and... But it, it just got to the point where it, we thought it was more cost effective to just resolve it. Okay. Right. But it has so whatever the violation. It's all been, yeah, it was minor to begin with, but it has been corrected. Okay. And would you believe that's all? No. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Unless you allow me a, a brief thing. Nothing to do with anything except to give uh, acknowledgement to King Vince. Don. <laughs> dun, 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 Thank you. We'll do that after. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anybody else have anything on resolutions? Please come up to the microphone and prove out your state your name and address for the record. Barbara Hudson, Wayside. Uh, I just wanted to ask about the buildings that are having the abatement. Where are they? There's three buildings. Mm -hmm. There's two on Sunset Avenue and one on North Wanamassa Drive. They're township? No, we don't own them. They're, they're oh. going to be demolished, though. Okay, so why are we doing that? Because they're in disrepair. Oh, because you have to take them out. Right. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Come on up to the microphone, state your name and address. You know, here, no one. Someone please offer the uh, minutes for the workshop September 8th and the September 22nd. And res. Okay. Oh. Second? Second. The chair? Yes. Garofalo? I abstain on the uh, minutes of September 8th. Uh, workshop and um, regular meeting and on uh, resolution 16191 I abstain on the closed session of September 8th yes on everything else Shepika yes Siciano yes 
resolutions 184, 16184 through 16191. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Achera? Second. Oops, sorry. No. That's all right. Second. Achera? Yes. Garfola? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepika? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. And for individual action, we have vouchers in the amount of $10,966,312.42. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepika? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. And resolution tonight, 16192. Authorize a tax collector to place a lien on the following properties to abate the public health nuisance. Block 22, lot 93 for $518.07. Block 117, lot 3, $389.13. Block 14201, lot 1, $513.02. And block 26.06, lot 10 for $212.31. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garfolo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. 16193. Authorize a contract with Finishing Touch Asbestos Abatement Corp. Inc. for the removal of materials from various township structures at a cost not to exceed $25,220. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garfolo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 16194. Authorize the tax collector to refund the overpayments for those totally disabled veterans who received homestead rebate credit. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garfolo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 16195. Authorize a rejection of sealed bids received for the construction of the Banshell Joe Play Park and authorize a rebid of the same. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 16196. Authorize authorization. Here's by giving a purchase of treated rock salt from Morton Salt through the Monmouth County Cooperative Purchasing Program. Someone please offer. At a, I'm sorry. At a cost not to exceed $90.59 a ton. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Long? Yes. Oh, Garofalo? Yes. <laughs> Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 16197, authorize the township to execute an agreement with the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 16198, authorize a cancellation of real estate taxes for a property declared tax exempt by the township accessor. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 16199, authorize a cancellation and refund of real estate taxes paid for a totally disabled veteran. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 16200, confirming a private sale of real estate property to Robert C. Chambers and Sarah Griceback for property located at Howard Avenue, Block 9, Lot 53. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 16201, authorizing a cancellation of year 2016 taxes and refunding of credit in the tax overpayment resulting from New Jersey State Tax Court judgment. Someone please offer? I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 16202. Authorizing the Omnia Tier Health Insurance Incentive Program. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. And tonight for ordinance, we have adoption from ordinance from number 2279. Jesse, would you read the title, please? Ordinance 2279, an ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 21 of the Comprehensive Land Development Ordinance of the Township of Ocean. Right. So this is the one where we're authorizing in the industrial zone, if there ever to be another yeshiva or school or anything like that it could be only in that zone which is east i'm sorry west of highway 35 up sunset avenue in that area there someone please open a public hearing on ordinance 2279 i open the public hearing on ordinance 2279 second achera yes garofalo yes long yes shepica yes siciliana yes anybody wishing to be heard on ordinance number 2279 step up to the microphone state your name and address for the record Barbara Hudson, I wasn't going to say anything except that you just said more or less that they would be confined, and I don't think they can be confined there, right? I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, as I understand, because I'm writing about it, that mm -hmm. you this is proposed. It would be great. We can because you had the problem with the law with the Redupa? judge. Yeah, well, yes. nothing's guaranteed, yeah, but, it, but it's a. Area. But if they come in and apply, mm -hmm. like if they come in and apply at Copper Gables or whatever, 
uh, they're not going to have to go up there. I mean, they're going to apply. Well, they can apply anywhere they, anywhere want, they want. But we yeah. we have a leg to stand and say, well, we have a zone for this, and so. But I was interpreting that is that's more or less to respond to the judges' complaint that we didn't have any. Well, place we're for in them compliant. Go, right? we're, it just it wasn't the judges' complaint. It was the uh, the applicants' complaint and one of the arguments in the lawsuit, uh, not the one the judge ultimately made the decision on. Certainly, an argument that was made, so now we do have a. Now you have a place. Yeah, but I didn't want to misinterpret that, so that doesn't. Okay. We can't confine them to that. I mean, well, it doesn't. It's not, preclude it's not going to be illegal. From mm -hmm. coming in and filing, filing a RUPA claim at another location. Another location. Be, okay. Great. Anybody else? Come up to the microphone, state your name and address. Seeing or hearing no one, someone please make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance 2279. Make a motion to close the public hearing on 2279. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Action, please, on Ordinance 2279. Move to adopt and publish. Uh, move to adopt Ordinance um, 2279. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Next ordinance. Oh, that. Uh, Is it? 2280, I'm sorry. Ordinance 2280, please read the title, Jess. Ordinance number 2280, an ordinance amending Chapter 12 of the Revised General Ordinances of the Township of Ocean, 1965, prohibiting parking along portions of Dow Avenue. So this is for the section going from Whale Pond Road up to Orange Street, and it's on the south side? North side. North side, I'm sorry. I keep getting that wrong. On the north side of the road. All right, someone please open the public hearing on Ordinance 2280. I open the public hearing on Ordinance Number 2280. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Anybody wishing to be heard on Ordinance Number 2280, step up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Seeing or hearing no one, someone please make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance 2280. Make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance Number 2280. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Uh, I just want to point out this is done as a safety measure. Uh, we, we're very cognizant of the fact that uh, we have to have this uh, ordinance. I vote yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. We have to. Yeah, action please on Ordinance 2280. So adopt. I, uh, yeah, I make a motion to adopt <laughs> Ordinance number 2280. Which I publish according Sorry. to law. Thank you. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shefika? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Okay, next ordinance is Ordinance 2281. Jesse, read the title, please. Ordinance number 2281, an ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 21 of the Comprehensive Land Development Ordinance of the Township of Ocean. Okay. Uh, someone please open the public hearing on Ordinance 2281. I make a motion to open the public hearing on, mo uh, on Ordinance 2281. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Anybody wishing to be heard on Ordinance 2281, step up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Seeing or hearing no one, someone please make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance 2281. I make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance 2281. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Action, please, on Ordinance 2281. Make a motion to adopt Ordinance number 2281 and publish according to law. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Next, Ordinance 2282. Jesse, would you read the title, please? Ordinance number 2282, an ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 21 of the Comprehensive Land Development Ordinance of the Township of Ocean, adding a mixed-use inclusionary development to the C1 zone. Great. So please open the public hearing on Ordinance 2282. I make a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2282. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Anybody wishing to be heard on Ordinance 2282, step up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. See or hear no one? Someone please hold on, hold on, hold on. Mrs. Hudson's, she's half in, half out. 
I didn't there recognize the I, side. I see them whispering. They're trying to think. Yeah, that's all right. To the microphone. She you did lure her up. Can you tell us where that job. property is? Well, it's not a property. It's a zone. A zone? It's the C1 zone, which right. is primarily Norwood Avenue. Uh -huh. um, Monmouth and West Park is another C1 zone. And the third C1 zone would be Monmouth and Roosevelt. Anyone else on 2282? Someone make a motion to close the number. Or I make a motion hearing. to close the public hearing on Ordinance 2282. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofala? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. Uh, action, please, on Ordinance 2282. I make a motion to adopt Ordinance number 2282 and publish according to law. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. And the next is Ordinance 2283. Jess, would you read the title, please? Ordinance number 2283, an ordinance amending and supplementing the Township of Ocean's personnel policies, practices, and procedures as it relates to health benefits. Great. Someone please open a public hearing on Ordinance 2283. I make a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2283. Second. Achera? Yes. Garfolo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. And anybody wishing to be heard on Ordinance 2283, please step up to the microphone, state your name and address for the record. No, seeing here, no one. Please uh, make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance 2283. Make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance number 2283. Second. Achera? Yes. Garfolo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. Action, please, on Ordinance 2283. I make a motion to adopt Ordinance number 2283 and publish according to law. Second. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepica? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. So at this time, if anybody has anything, township business, germane to the township, anything affecting you or any praise you want to sing to us, please step up to the microphone okay. and state your name and address for the record. <laughs> praise. Sometimes. The law of averages catches up to us once in a while, Doc. I figured I'd throw it out there. Well, it's good to be back. Uh, I want to say that. Uh, well, it's good to see you. Thank you. Uh, just some uh, current news about uh, Cedar Village, Great. which you haven't heard from in a long time. Uh, in August, we had a project called Stuff the Bus, where we stuff the uh, stuff. Backpacks full of merchandise for the kids. And for those that uh, basically need the supplies in order to get through school because financially they're not able, we collected this year 80 backpacks and was delivered to the school. Wow. Uh, this past uh, Sunday we had a family day. And from the family day we collected $485 going to the Wanamasa First Aid Squad. Uh, next project coming up, <coughs> excuse me, will be for the Interfaith Neighbors for the Holiday. We'll be collecting uh, toys for those that basically would not have toys if we, they weren't being collected. Hmm. Thank you. Awesome. From Cedar Village. Great reports. Thank you, Doc. Um, Susan Borea, want to come up to the microphone and say that that's your name? <laughs> for the record. That's my name. <laughs> That's my name. That is you. <laughs> Susan Boria, um, Redwood Drive, Cedar Village. Um, you forgot one, um, and that is on October 22nd, we're doing a cancer walk this year. Oh. Uh, instead of just breast cancer, we've um, expanded it to be all kinds of cancer, and the monies that we collect for that will be going to the Jersey Shore Foundation. It's in, in your in Cedar Village. The walk will be. The, yes, the walk will be in Cedar Village. But if you want to come and join us, yeah, uh, they time? have refreshments. Uh, I believe ten o'clock is when they um, check in. That's a week from this Saturday. Am I right? Is that a week uh, from yes. this Saturday? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Great. And um, great. Yeah. Okay. And um, the other reason I'm up here was that some weeks ago. Uh, maybe months ago, uh, the council mentioned that they were going to look into the letters that residents have received that say TOSA wow. at the top about the maintenance, maintenance for the sewer lines. Yeah. Yes. 
and some of our residents have asked what's going on there, particularly in our community where some of the homes aren't even 10 years old. Right. Um, they think it's somewhat of a scam. Well, they're, they're certainly sending it out there as a notice to folks who may want to take advantage. We weren't really keen on the idea that they were doing that with them, but, you know, they're an independent authority. We've talked to them about it before, and I've gotten a letter myself recently, and Lisa was like, oh, we better do this. I said, wait a minute. I said, you don't have to do that. So I can see what folks do, how you react to it. Naturally, it's an impulse to say, oh, we ha got this letter. We must have to do this. But, you know, we'll continue to talk to them about it, but I don't know, Morty. It's really nothing. Well, okay. basically, they're an independent agency. However, you can all go to a meeting of TOSA Tell them and you raise don't the like same it. complaint. Because, you know, I also get the letters, and frankly, it bothers me. All those letters I get telling me whether it's a Medicare supplement right. or whatever, everything though. looks like a government letter right. that you got to do this. Right. And, you know, there's so much mail that I get that is like that. However, uh, this is from Ocean Township, you feel, but it's TOSA. So if you don't like it, I think people should go to a meeting of TOSA and say, we don't like this, why are you doing this? That's a good point, and, and yeah. I'll pass it along. I think the main thing is it's not a bad letter. It's the fact that they use TOSA letterhead, and it makes it look like it's coming from them, and you have to act on this. And right. that's, that's the problem we all have right. when and, we get it, too. And, and, and that's, again, what our residents, some of them of which are saying, you know, our homes aren't even 10 years old. Why should right. we have maintenance? Well, you're in a so, mail-in list. Of I mean, they don't know how old anybody's house is. But the fact that they use TOSA's letterhead is, or even logo to me. Maybe you should not, at least don't use their logo right. if they're going to send a letter out and then we'll be able to discern that it's not really from them. Right. Thanks, Will. I'll pass that along. Okay. Thanks, Susan. <coughs> Anybody else? John Adio, come John up and Adio. state your name and address John for the Adio. record. I have to state the name, obviously. <laughs> I'm not sure. I could just be calling Cold people Indian names Spring. here. John Cold Adio. Indian Springs Road, John Adio. I want to say that the Italian American Association of the Township of Ocean has been collecting items for the troops overseas, mm -hmm. and we have hundreds of items that have been uh, donated, to going from toothpaste right on up to clothing, and some businesses have even donated as much as $250 for this uh, deed that we are doing, and uh, we hope to continue on doing this, and uh, if anybody's watching TV and has a business, we'd appreciate your donation. Thank Great. you. Good. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Also, you had a nice, successful blood drive, right? Yeah, that's what we did. Awesome. They say uh, they get about 10% of the people voluntarily donate blood. If they got 11%, it would probably fill up what they need. They just don't get to that number. And we gave out the gas cards for about $15 right. and free oil change. Right. That was awesome. Wow. Great. Good work. Good Thank you. Thank the members for that. Anybody else? Come on up to the microphone. Mr. Geiger? You too may state your name and address once again for the record. <laughs> Let's see. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Yep. Still, still live at 1108 Grasser Avenue. You know, I'm still Don Geiger. Um, just minor stuff. However, before that, somewhat more major. I know the yeshiva is a done deal, and I remember speaking with you about uh, property values and you felt shouldn't affect it well for what it's worth I'm not an expert but if I were a parent of elementary to junior high age children I'd be very leery about buying property with I figure I'm within about 500 feet maybe give or take I'm not going to measure it out of the yeshiva I just would we're going to have 80 some odd Young men, and I don't care what you say, unless they alarm all the doors so someone goes out mm -hmm. when they shouldn't, I, I just wouldn't feel comfortable. Now, I'm not saying anything's going to happen. I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm just saying as a dad who's raised little kids and has been very concerned about their well-being, would I buy a house that close? Personally, I don't think I would, but enough said on that. Um, back to my favorite Retail establishment, BJ's. I happen to go in off of West Park. But Mr. Arbus is the expert on that right now. Oh, well, still nothing's happened with it. Now, we, there is a dispute going on about who is responsible, responsible for the road. And I, we are going to get that resolved probably within the next 30 days. Okay. Just wondering where that was standing. 
And the same way with Alaire. Do you think that'll be paid before I do. November that, the election? That actually got held up because that project is funded with the Transportation Trust Fund dollars. Uh -huh. So you didn't know that we had put on that. hold until that issue got resolved, which it is in the process of being resolved. So. Oh, whoopee. <laughs> I don't we, know why I should be happy or not. 23 more cents a gallon, but whatever. Yeah. Last but not least, um, my other favorite topic, the post office. Am I correct in saying that part of the patrol area would be riding past the post office for the police? Yes. Okay. I don't know what their time frames are or anything like this, and obviously they have limited personnel covering the whole township, so they can't go by every 10 minutes. They may want to look at, oh, gee, we go by at this time and this time, today. maybe we can move it, because I went up close to 5 o'clock, and there wasn't one car parked where it shouldn't be. There were three. You know why? Because it's towards the end of the day. No, there was no patrol at that time. As soon as there's well, a patrol, there's never a parking problem. I know. Because I live there, too, and I go by all the time, and I see them patrol. They do patrol. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Up and down they Fairmont. may want to look at their schedule. Just, they, I, if I, I think were, people are looking around. They don't see a patrol car, and they illegally park. I, I don't know you're ever going to solve that problem. Probably never. I'll, I'll agree Unless with that. Unless you put one guy on it, but then there's another issue across right. town. Are you saying they park on the south side? No, no, they park on the street, it's, but instead yeah. of they park in front of that, that poor business right that there, that poor yeah. business there. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, and yeah. blocking the their direct, their, yeah. their, their area. parking area. Yeah. And there, I mean, I've seen one. I don't like. Hello, what does the sign say? Yeah. But three. No, it's it's, like, it's, it's aggravating. I know, uh, but maybe they want to look and say, okay, maybe lunch time span, and towards the end of the day, maybe I don't mm -hmm. know. You'll never solve it. You're right. No. But I just wanted to throw that in the mix. Okay. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Well, I wasn't going to talk about Rolupa, but I will then say, you know, as, as bad it is for the people in the neighborhood who have, as Mr. Gargo said, property values, children, and so on, that law should never have been passed. And, it, and, you know, you would hope to find political leadership that would be defending our right as a community to retain this such important power. I mean, it's really attacking our federal system. So, but I'm, I want to talk about another, the second serious issue, which is the stop and shop property. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we understand there's been discussion about construction on this property, a gasoline station, a hotel, a Wawa, and behind the town homes to wonder about the details of such discussions, if you've had them. For instance, uh, with some 30 acres uh, will be cleared, we wonder if a 10,000 gallon underground gasoline tank, and it's going to be near a brook, be dangerous to the environment, and also of concern if there's any um, species, endangered wildlife species in there, and what might happen to them. But I would assume that for most of us, uh, it is the increasing traffic on Deal Road that's really of concern, and the loss of our historic property. So adding together these, and no doubt many other concerns that people would have, uh, Council, could you consider uh, sending to all residents an email, like those issues about trash collection and so on, uh, you know, about such matter, describing what uh, what you might be proposing or what has well, been proposed. No, I know you're not proposing. What we has don't have, been when we get a, I think when we get a plan submitted, then maybe we can post something somewhere. I'm not going to send yeah, an email just, out. You send it out in trash. You know, right? Why yeah. can't you say a really important issue like yeah. this that everybody's concerned? I don't, I don't just know. tell us what it's about and what's proposed. And then what I would then say, if you get a response, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, people are really concerned and they have, you're talking about other possibilities they might be interested in, then you might call a special uh, council meeting to discuss it if you had enough people that really have, you know, and you have a big audience out there. We have a lot of ideas. Well, no, I understand what you're saying. You know, we're going to take it one step at a time. Right now, again, there's concept plans that may, they may go away tomorrow. I don't know until they submit. Once right. something's submitted, Once it, when it's solid. then I'll yes. talk about it more at length and then people have opportunity to come here because I've been talking about it. I've been right. talking about this. Yeah, well, you talk about it. How but, long? You know, I've been talking I mean, about this for about a year. That there's something that people have been looking at that property and bringing in. We have twenty-seven thousand people, right? 
How many yeah, people do you really think understand and know that? The point is that I've been, I've been discussing it, so there's really no secret. Anybody that, that I talk to with property. this, you know, worry about the traffic on We Deep all. Road. I yeah, live right, here, too. Know, Mrs. Right, Hudson, yeah. we live here, too. No, I'm just We're saying. Concerned. But they, you know, they but any, have, any, uh, we might be able to buy it. Maybe people want to buy it. Who maybe knows? Maybe they can buy it. They maybe. can. That guy's buying it. What you yeah. can do is um, anybody that does buy that property wants to develop it, the one uh, thing in there is that they have to make this road improvement. So that's in there. Well, if you decide that, I'm sure there's, you're going to do the best we can do. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, right. Not but at the least worst. give us opportunity to, uh, you know, put our two cents in before you decide. I mean, that's that's really the issue. And keep in mind, it's got to go in front of the planning board or the zoning board. Yes. They'll have a hearing so there. Those yeah, by that time, take... you know, it's... It's, well, you know, there, well, that's, there would have to be a zoning change, and that's have when to you have your board. chance to speak at that meeting is when the public speaks and says what they feel about a certain plan or a certain idea. Well, I, we do that too. Yeah, but so far, you know, we don't get very far. Hmm? You bring up no. You brought up some great points about the gas tanks and the ground. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots valid. of things. Yeah, right. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. But bring it up when they have the planning board meeting, that is really the time. Well, uh, what I'm concerned, you know, we correspond with so many people, but there's a whole lot more people out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there, that's what I'm concerned, that they, uh, if we got a lot of coverage from the news media, you know, maybe that would do it. Maybe. But we, you know, it's, it's, it, that's communication to my mind is where the real yeah, I think that is. by putting the cameras in this room here and communicating twice a month to folks and it airs constantly, I think we're communicating pretty good. Are Don't you? Probably getting better. Better yeah, than it's right. been since 1849, right. I believe, right? right? And then look, how many people are here? You know, I mean, yeah, but the room should be watch. filled. <laughs> but Mrs. Hudson, <laughs> no, no, maybe the folks no, are, are watching and are satisfied with what they're hearing. I don't know. Maybe they're not watching, but we're doing that. This is yeah. outreach right here. Outreach starts well, right here at 7 o'clock when that camera rolls. It's outreach. Yeah. But we still need more. <laughs> awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anybody else? Mr. Hudson, would you like me to bring the microphone to you, sir? I'll do that. No, I'm not kidding. You sure? Okay. We have nothing but time. Mr. Geiger can hand it off to you. Uh, just a few short questions, if I may, for whatever you feel mm -hmm. appropriate to uh, say on the subject. Uh, regarding the work meeting of uh, August, I guess it was August 9th, there was a property uh, that was up for discussion about a vet development zone update. And uh, I just want to know where the uh, uh, particular property was. Uh, I looked in the minutes and I found that they seem to be somewhat incomplete as to location. On August 9th. August 8th. August 9th. What, what was the heading for the agenda item? Uh, it was uh, uh, development zone update. Oh, that's probably the oh, redevelopment that's zone. Redevelopment. Yeah. That's Norwood, that's Norwood Avenue. And well, well be, it could be a re... Uh, right. Re, re, uh, is this on Norwood Avenue? A rehabilitation. Well, it, it's multiple areas. We, if you, do. I don't remember what meeting it was, but after that, we actually adopted a resolution where we authorized Mazer to do a analysis of pretty much all the commercial areas in the township. That was September the eighth. Okay. So okay. that would have followed from that workshop item. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, where's if this is really so be highway 35 from the, all the way all the way from yeah. the circle to the uh to the Eaton town border it would be norwood avenue well whereabouts in norwood that's the thing the I entire don't know. commercial from poplar brook yeah. to the mikvah that's all ocean township poplar brook to from where poplar brook the down to the mikvah on as the you go, as you go over that over the trellis there by the vfw yeah yeah right, right to there that's the extent of the commercial zone there that's ocean township that's norwood and then the industrial park was the other one. Industrial park, right. Okay, well, the, the zone starts where? On the south? Well, the zone will start for... For the industrial park? No, for the uh, C1 commercial zone. Oh, from Poplar Brook, going north to the VFW. Right. Uh, all right, I'll think about that. Okay. Pass the old Acme, you probably did. Okay, now, uh, on the work agenda for tonight's meeting, uh, whatever council can say or Mr. Arbus can say 
about several items, affordable housing litigation, the Zoning Board of Adjustment litigation, uh, comments on other pending lawsuits, and then the last thing was on the work agenda was the COA spending plan. On the litigation, I'm going to tell you, because I'm going to tell you everything we discussed tonight about that. <laughs> uh, we went over, we didn't have enough time to talk about anything, so there was no discussion at all about the COA litigation or any litigation, because we didn't have enough time to get into it. So everything's in the old? Everything is old. <laughs> on hold. 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 Okay, hold. everything's on hold also. And it's hold. Okay. So you don't have anything to say? Yes. Okay, I can tell right. you on the COA spending plan, D6, we have been uh, generating some fees for our affordable yeah. housing trust fund. Now we have to get a spending plan that we have to adopt and then ultimately implement. So we are in the pro we'll probably have a draft plan delivered to the council by early November. Okay. And it's essentially what we're going to be doing is reimbursing ourselves for some of the things we've already done related to affordable housing at this point. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. John Adio. All right. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, who do I contact uh, to see about a piece of property that's um, you know, adjacent to residential properties that is laden with uh, old tires that are filling up with water, with pallets, with rusty equipment and Code other enforcement. Things? That's code enforcement? I mean, we can give, now that we know you're here, I can give that complaint for you unless you want to just go to code enforcement yourself or you can call code enforcement but what's the address I it's on the corner of uh, cold Indian Springs Road mm -hmm. on the um, north side and in East, Asbury, East, yeah. Asbury Avenue in Asbury. Okay. From the and just so you know we adopted we have a new app called report .com, and it's for those situations where folks can report it, it goes right to my cell phone and it's anonymous, you report any any code enforcement violation, pothole, anything like that. It goes right to me. Could you give me that and again, it, slowly? Yeah, report it, all one word, report R. it. Oh, report it. Okay. Dot com, e. but it's all one word. He. Right? It's a free app, free app on your phone, and when you see a violation in Ocean, anything, pothole, that, disrepair, property neglect, just send it to me. It goes to me automatically, and just report where it is, and then I'll be able to forward it to the correct department, whether it's police, code enforcement, or uh, anything Thank else. Thank you. I did leave a message on your tell your cell phone today, but not that full. Is it full? No, not that oh, full. Oh, okay. <laughs> I usually get that by by three o'clock. It's filled up. You're supposed to return those in seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say. That's what it said, no, right? I, I did. In all you fairness. Return the call, and you didn't answer. Return the call in seven minutes. That's right. I had one of those days. <laughs> No, no, I had one of those days that went like seven hours straight without being able to. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He's actually pretty good at doing it. I wasn't able to well, stop to make a phone call. He's very good at returning calls. Anybody else? Well, I want to thank you all for coming. And uh, remember that we uh, air twice a day at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m., channel 22 for files, 77 for Cablevision. So I'm please make a motion to close the public. Motion to adjourn. Adjourn. And I'll second it. Achera? Yes. Garofalo? Yes. Long? Yes. Shepika? Yes, Cicliana. Yes, mean adjourn. Thank you all for coming. Don, thank you. Yes, Don, thank you.